Good evening, everyone. It's so good to be here and to be able to honor two wonderful people. And, you know, often we talk about wonderful people. These two are really wonderful people. Let me tell you that every time I go into a parking lot, there are at least, at the very least, five to a hundred cars with Trinity license plates. Sal Ervolino is synonymous with Trinity Auto. Have you ever heard the saying, good people like to do good things? Well, Sal, my buddy, and the good people at Trinity Automotive, what a great name, live by this philosophy, treating all of their customers the way they'd want to be treated. Where did I get my car? The best place in town, Trinity Auto. I love my metallic gray Corolla. Come on down, Sal's got the best deals in town. For heavenly prices and wonderful service. It's got power windows, power doors. This is a powerful car. So what's it gonna take to get you into one of these? Thank you, Trinity Auto, for always getting me there and always getting me home. Sal has services that he provides that uh, others similarly situated don't. I was in a terrible car crash within a matter of days. Sal was able to find me yet another new Camry, which I absolutely loved, delivered it, and uh, had me on my way. It's almost like the Seinfeld episode. Sal's very, very um, studious about how the uh, cars are to be maintained. Anytime you're driving and you start to hear a noise, or especially if you think you're going to be having a problem with the car, you're almost afraid something's going to happen because I'm going to have to answer to Sal. It's kind of like when I was first driving and I was afraid to have to bring go home and say to my parents that I did something to the car. In terms of uh, searching for the car, he made a point of taking me to all different places. We met on a Saturday and he gave me a number of hours. You know, I have to be a little careful. I am a bishop, so I don't want to be ostentatious. So there's no gold trimming on it or anything like that. But it, it drives like a gem. And Sal is a gem. Going through COVID, at least being up and no unavailability of cars and just trying to help you resolve the situation. He was someone who was really there who shows that, you know, he's, you know, he has your back. Sal's a man of faith. And I, I have over and again been impressed and really edified by it. Because this isn't just a business. This is how Sal says, I've been given this talent by God and I'm gonna use it to help people. I call him uh, the man who, who is, uh, if I can say this, you know, divine, because he makes things impossible, really possible, fulfilling all our dreams. So that's wonderful. That's definitely a grace and gift from God. He's, he's a real, real true testament to our church. He, he tries to keep the faith connected to it, and, he, and I even love the name of his company, Trinity. He's also a great Catholic gentleman. I could even uh, say that uh, in addition to that, he has become a good friend. I think because he believes in the whole idea of time, talent, and treasure, um, time, you know, what he learned growing up in you know, um, Blessed Trinity Parish in Williamsburg, the whole idea of sharing his treasure, you know, his treasure is primarily his ability, you know, to, to meet people and to help them, you know, achieve their goals, specifically with um, guys trying to get transportation around the diocese. It's a reflection of his worldview, his view of life, which he attributes very much to his time at Holy Trinity uh, High School. As a father, as a husband, and just as a, a man of the church, too. So really, thank you so much. Congratulations, and all of those who know you know that what I speak is true. So God bless, and, uh, and uh, enjoy, enjoy this evening. You know what I want to say about Sal? He's, he's good to the church. That has been his whole life. He's good to the priests and the sisters and the agencies that he services. And we're really grateful for that service that he provides. Thanks for being there for me in the past. I look forward to receiving my sixth car this coming Friday and continuing fabulous, fabulous service visits. It's whatever the work that we do, to try to do it with um, integrity, with generosity, um, seeking the good of other people. And that if we make that our goal, 
then everything else will fall into place. I have to tell you, I wish everyone to experience the calmness of Sal in conversation and he's doing because he's truly the touch of grace uh, in this world that is so speedy and so fast. Sal is helping us to ride our inner cars, uh, our souls in a kind of very smooth pace. I think we all need it in the world and in the church. I know I join others, Salvatore, in congratulating you on receiving the prestigious Veritas Award from our beloved sisters of St. Dominic of Amityville. A well-deserved recognition for all you do, my friend. May God continue to bless you and multiply your good works, amen. Sister Mary used the greatest compliment uh, that I can offer to this woman and about this woman is how beloved she is by her sisters. Mary's many gifts for leadership and uh, compassion and presence were recognized nationally by her election to the leadership in LCWR and following her term with them she continued after our leadership term finished by going all over the country meeting with congregations, helping them with issues that they had, decisions they had to make. And uh, she was traveling all the time. I think they named a terminal at LaGuardia Airport after her. Sister Mary, it's very hard to describe her, certainly in one word. Um, I think of her as a prayerful woman, dedicated, a skillful and gracious leader, generous. Both tough and caring. So caring. She just has so much love in her to give. Mary was the oldest of 10. So guess what? She was the one that got her diapers ironed. ironed. <laughs> Who irons diapers? <laughs> She's the only one that my mother ironed her diapers. Mary kind of stood out as a person of generous responsibility. She is an amazing listener and communicator. Um, and we all would agree that we consider her to be a pillar of our family. So comforting. Um, when I told her I had Parkinson's, she just made me feel like I'm going to be fine. And she really, she really made me believe that. And I am fine. The reason she looks so young is because she doesn't have any children. <laughs> <laughs> She's very thoughtful. Uh, in the smallest of details, remembering someone's parent who died and sending them an annual card. She's uh, got a great capacity and she's very comfortable in her own skin. She doesn't need to flaunt her abilities. Being Jewish, I just, she just engulfed me with such love and we, um, we just became such good friends. There wasn't a holiday that passed by, Passover, ha Hanukkah, Young Kippa, that I didn't get a phone call or a card. Uh, everything she stands for, um, who she represents, she represents the poor, the unjust, it, it's just amazing. As the interim president of Dominican University, uh, Sister Mary immediately captured the support of the board of directors, the faculty, and the students who really recognized her skillful leadership. We're all very happy to see that we had a leader who had a definite vision for Dominican University. I believe that all these works that she's done in education and community service uh, really are fuel for her heart and soul. With everything that she has accomplished, with the way she lives her life um, so selflessly, she truly is an inspiration in that way. Recently, Stemeri has said, I would rather wear out than rust out. She personifies the Dominican charism in action. Mary was a national leader in, in her way of handling a difficult situation through her contemplative stance, through her invitation to all of us to be nonviolent, but strong and clear about who we are. Mary would give you the shirt off her back. 
that's the way she is. Uh, she's a, a model of uh, everything we would like us all to be. Mary has done so many amazing things for our family. She's just always there to support us when things maybe don't go right. She's just amazing. Her presence is just amazing. And so we love her. Her inner being, she just has a heart that just doesn't stop. God made an angel and she is just, she's my angel and I love her so much. She just brings out the best of me. She brightens my life.